next we shall see something with respect to cbi central bureau of investigation i guess you people have heard of cbi and uh, cbi is in news always it is there in news for all the wrong reasons for which it should not be there in news it is there in news for which it, it should actually be adikiralladu adu cbi is a special quality so what is this news uh, with respect to cbi andre central government told the supreme court held to recently yarge supreme court ge that west bengal government does not have absolute power to keep the cbi from investigating crimes inside the state so basically speaking uh, like if you want me to speak informally ಸರ್ ಏನು ಸರ್ ಇದು ಯಾವುದು ಈ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಐ ಕೇಸ್ ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬೆಂಗಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಶಾರದಾ ಚಿಟ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಆಗಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಶಾರದಾ ಚಿಟ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಶಾರದಾ ಚಿಟ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಅಕ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ to be committed by the chief minister and her associates of west bengal west bengal chief minister matte our associates here kondo they have committed this fraud and the charge of shit fund scam then that is actually being uh, investigated by the cbi investigation madta irad yaro currently cbi illi question bandu enappa antandre can the cbi investigate a case which is primarily the area of investigation for state government anta state government madbekagiro uh, investigation na cbi is does it does it have the power to actually investigate the case another question bartade now what the central government is saying like again um, since uh, west bengal uh, chief minister is one of the staunch opponents of the current central government so there was a kind of fight between central government and the uh, cm of uh, west bengal so illi avage en martta idare central government what they are doing they are using something which is under them cbi cbi is under central government alva so it is trying to use cbi to kind of uh, uh, what do you say avrun fix aagadakke yarna west bengal cm na so this is the background of it but we will see the constitutional aspect of uh, whether how how this proceeds in uh, with respect to constitution and that so here the central government told the supreme court that west bengal government does not have any absolute power to keep the cbi from investigating crimes in the state so west bengal government can't prevent cbi from investigating the cases that is what central government is contending union government was responding to a suit filed by west bengal government against the union of india under article 131 of the constitution so west bengal government en martu it filed a suit against against whom against government of india so central government under which article under article 131 and article 131 so article 131 deals with the original jurisdiction of supreme court now what is this original jurisdiction original jurisdiction antandre the real job of supreme court and the only court that has the power to do this job what is the main job of supreme court supreme court's main job is enappa antandre to solve the problems between center and states athwa between state and state for example if tamil nadu and karnataka have a fight if there is a fight between tamil nadu and karnataka who is the best uh, entity or which is the best entity to resolve the dispute it would be the would it be the high court of karnataka or high court of tamil nadu neither 
because high court of Tham karnataka will favor karnataka high court of tamil nadu might favor tamil nadu so we need one separate entity where we can uh, solve this dispute that is supreme court and who has the power to solve the dispute between center and state andre if central government is trying to uh, what do you say encroach upon the rights of the state government or if there is a fight between one state and another state or if there is a fight between central government one state on the one side and other states on the other side in all this case it is the supreme court which has the power to resolve the dispute and under which article article number 131 yes so article 131 has given the is is uh, it deals with the original jurisdiction so here so west bengal government it has gone against government of india against central government so if one state is fighting against central government under which article will it fight it will fight under article number 131 now what is the investigation procedure yen procedure follow madbek investigation alli cbi can be authorized by the central government andre let's say uh there is this uh you go uh yeah the dk ravi case it got in our in karnataka dk ravi and the bro ias officer is bro i guess you people are uh, aware of uh, his uh, death so in such a case um hmm, 2014 case that's right in such a case um if the opposition demands yen demand martta idra opposition antandre we want an impartial investigation we don't want state government investigation because that will be misled so we want a uh, impartial investigation that is investigation by cbi anta demand martta idra then can cbi or can central government here back then it was government led by narendra modi and in karnataka it was the government led by siddaramaiah so illi enagittu antandre there was a mismatch centrally bjp statally congress ittu so can in in any in such situation can central government directly authorize cbi to investigate the case cbi helboda ig narendra modi bandu okay cbi i am ordering you go and investigate dk ravi's case anta helboda can it say that the answer is no here the answer will be no if the cbi wants to investigate any case in state if central government is ordering cbi to investigate any case then it has to get the permission of state government state government permission first beko only then it can order the investigation of any case yes but uh, uh, now how good is that would it be good for the central government to wait or would it be good for the cbi to wait always to get the permission of state government sometimes like how it has happened in uh, west bengal sharda chit fund scam which has happened uh, has to be investigated by the cbi but if it is authorized by central government then state will say i am not going to give permission ant helute state if it's if the state says i am not going to give permission then will the justice be delivered no then in such cases supreme court or high court will generally intervene andre if the case is very important supreme court and high court they will intervene and they will authorize the cbi when the cbi is authorized by courts ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಥರೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಒಬ್ಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಕೋರ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಏನ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ you states the en challenge martta idara appa just give me a minute hmm. 
So here, uh, West Bengal has challenged CBI's jurisdiction to register FIRs and conduct investigation in the state on numerous cases. So in the year 2018, so listen to what I'm saying, then you can look at slides and all. So in the year 2018, the central government which is there, okay, so here we'll see what happened in the year 2018. CBI withdrew the general, sorry, West Bengal government, West Bengal withdrew the general consent given to CBI. Now the question. Sir, what is general consent given to the CBI? General consent, another, it is like uh, you can say general permission that is given. So, CBI uh, is given general consent by all the states. All the states of India, like Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, they have given general consent. And CBI can file a case. And CBI can investigate the case without permission every time. For each and every small thing, it can't go and ask permission. You got, for example, let's say CBI wants to arrest a person uh, on the basis of some case. So if the general consent is not given, it has to go and investigate each and every person. First, it has to take permission. So then what will happen? It will simply delay the cases. It will delay the... Uh, what do you say? Uh, sometimes if the permission is delayed, the accused might escape. Those possibilities are there. So all states have given general consent. And right? If the case is quite important, then you should come for me, uh, come to me for the permission. But however, for small things, we will let you go. Okay, anyway, Markoli, you find the case on your own. You arrest the person on your own. Don't have to ask our permission each and every time. You know, it is like uh, how we uh, children used to do in schools. Schools are like whenever we wanted to go to washroom, what we will do? For each and everything, we'll go, ma'am, can I please go to washroom? Ma'am, can I please go to washroom? Now, what we do in class, in like in higher standards, when, when we have offline class, what we will do? If you want to go, if you, are, if you have some important call, if you are, uh, what do you say, um, like if you want to go to a washroom or if you want to go out, you can just walk out. Alwa. We are not going to restrict you. Illa ni wogang illa. You should ask permission for each and everything. We we won't do that, isn't it? So that is general consent. And then generally the permission is given. But let's say you want to leave the class. Then what we will do? Then you will ask, no, sir, I am going to leave for the day. So can I go on? Ta? So for important things, permission should be taken. For small things and regular things which might happen, you need not even obtain permission. So that is the concept of general consent. However, West, Go West Bengal government, it went to such an extent that it withdrew the general consent. General consent, now what is the case? For each and everything, for each and every small thing, you should ask the permission of the state government. For small arrest also, you should ask the permission of the state government. Only then you can make the arrest. Who can, Andre, I'm referring to CBI. And uh, West Bengal government, it did something in 2018 and other states also followed what West Bengal government did. And most of these states or probably all of these states are non-BJP government states. BJP government They started withdrawing the general consent that was given. Maharashtra, Punjab, Rajasthan, And this... Uh, what is a recent clash that is happening, the fight that is happening between West Bengal government and central government, that is actually not good for the Indian federalism. It uh, it is not, it is not it does not ensure the smooth functioning of the federal system in, in India. And CBA is given power under Delhi Police Special Establishment Act. CBI is not a statutory body statutory body Allah what do you mean by uh, not statutory body there is no law backing CBI sir if there is no law backing CBI if tomorrow then if uh, the Supreme Court declares it as uh, void and if, if Supreme Court declares it as illegal then can CBI be abolished okay the answer here is yes 
it can be abolished that is one of the biggest fear cbi has cbi constantly lives in fear every day adu baya irutte yen baya it does not know whether it is going to wake up tomorrow morning tomorrow morning it might wake up and supreme court might ban it because it is not a statutory body it derives some power from delhi police special establishment act but otherwise it is not considered as a statutory body statutory body antandre which has the backing of a law which is passed by the legislature parliament in the central body antandre 